Dave, thanks. And while schools are closed throughout the state, districts are making sure that those students don't go hungry. Fox 61's Ashley Afonso explains how New Haven is continuing to serve families. The New Haven School District providing both breakfast and lunch to all students who regularly received those meals on a normal school day. But the school district taking every precaution they can, parents not even stepping foot inside of the school to receive those meals. Schools may be out for the next two weeks, but districts here in Connecticut are making sure students don't go without food. In New Haven, parents can pick up both breakfast and lunch at the school closest to them. The state received a waiver from the federal government that will enable students to take the meals and consume them at home. Lunch is what we call shelf stable, so it meets the requirements of the National School Lunch Program, but it are it does things that can stay unrefrigerated, aside from the milk. The district is hoping this relieves some of the burden for parents who will now have to provide children every meal of the day instead of just dinner. The difficulty is uh, we go to stores for food, well, most of the stores are empty. You know. That's the more difficult thing. The district is taking precautions to make sure they eliminate as much contact as possible. So we have tables set up right against the doors in most cases in the schools, in the vestibules, and we will just hand the meals, we'll assemble the meal and we'll hand it out through the door to whomever is collecting it, the parent or the student. Parents can pick up these meals at the school Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to noon. In New Haven, Ashley Afonso, Fox 61 News. And this just